Hi there Fabric Jugglers, it's Babs here from Fiery Phoenix and today is the um, I feel long awaited um, reveal of all of the um, the patches that have been made for me as part of the quilting bee uh, which I'm taking part of at the moment. This month I was queen bee, there's a separate tutorial or separate video that talks about being queen bee and what that entails um, and now I have a big stack of loveliness that I'm going to open up. Some of these envelopes I have opened just to try and save a bit of time when I haven't actually gone through and looked at anything that's in them yet. Um, and the ladies in my um, in my hive have been incredibly patient with me whilst they've been waiting for, for a reveal because I've been waiting until everything arrived. So uh, let's get cracking and see what gorgeousness has been supplied. I, um, I put a fairly straightforward um, request out that all the Ooh, there's a note that all the blocks should include black so that I could tie it together but other than that everybody pretty much had a free hand to choose whatever designs from my list they wanted oh stunning that's gorgeous fabric so I'm not quite sure whether you can see that on the camera but I will put up some still shots in the accompanying article so you can see these blocks in their, their gloriousness um, the blocks we were creating were paper um, paper piecing, well, not paper piecing, um, but they're the ones where you sew through the paper. My brain has turned to mush. I'm so excited. Um, so some may have paper on, some may not, but that's how these particular blocks are created. And the note, dear Babs, here's your June block for a new block swap. I hope you like it from Victoria Thompson. I do. I love it. Thank you very much, Victoria. Well, that's the first one. And we have, oh, another note. Oh, cute little postcard. Babs, here is your block. I hope it fits into your quilt. I enjoyed making it for you. I have also enclosed a spare mistake block in case you can use it somehow, Michelle. I'm sure I can, Michelle. I can use all sorts of things in all sorts of ways. Ah, oh, there's the mistake block. It doesn't particularly look like a mistake to me. I also asked, oh, excellent. I also asked if um, people wanted to, if they could send me a patch for the reverse with with their name and details on. So that's gonna be great. Let's see what the actual block looks like. Oh, wow. That's beautiful. Oh, thank you, Michelle. Thank you very much. Let's pop the other bits on the floor. So we've got room. Oh, spots. And let's see. And this one doesn't have a note. Oh, yes, it does. To Babs, I hope you like the block I've made for your quilting bee quilt. Lovely. And it, 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 it's actually patched. The, the actual um, quilt label has been patched. That's beautiful. And again, another gorgeous block. Thank you. Um, oh, Christmas stamps in June. Okay. Oh, little card. I'm getting a lot of ooh noises, I do apologise. Uh, let's have a look, oh another back panel. Oh, lovely, from Denise. That's a lovely looking block. I'm getting some nice colour combinations here. Uh, let's see what she says. Hi Babs, here's my block, it's far from perfect. I don't care, it's gorgeous. Um, I'm new to foundation, but there you go, foundation piecing. Um, but I've enjoyed this one. Hopefully I'll improve as I go on. Hope you like it and get an interesting quilt. Can't wait to see the end results. No, I can't wait either. It's going to be fascinating to see how these all, all hold together. And thank you very much, Denise. Thank you. Let's see another one. Oh, it's just like Christmas. Oh, two in one. Oh, this is the octopus squid. Squid, octopus. Oh, it's beautiful. Stunning colours. Absolutely gorgeous colours. Um, another quilted back patch from Joe Benison. Well, thank you, Joe. It's absolutely stunning. Wow, that's quite a selection of colours already. To Babs, your block for June from Brenda. Let's see, Brenda. Oh, another patchwork. <gasps> Gorgeous. The whirling pinwheel quilt block from Brenda. Whoop. Throwing them on the floor now in my excitement. That's just beautiful. Well, these colours are working together very nicely. You wouldn't have thought that you guys just picked 
your colours from your stash at random. They're working together really nicely. I might even get a rainbow effect out of this if I'm lucky. Oh, reds. If I'm lucky, there could well be a rainbow effect. Oh, my brain's ticking over with how to reassemble the quilt now. Let's see. Oh, gorgeous. And a label from Sean. Oh, stunning choice of fabric there. That looks beautiful. Another little note. I do like all these notes, that's fabulous. Hi Babs, here's your blog, I hope you like it. I look forward to seeing what you make of them, all the best. June, I think. Julie, sorry, Julie. Let's see. Oh, isn't that lovely? These are beautiful. I, there's definitely a rainbow effect going on here that we can we can grade through. This is going to be quite an exciting quilt to put together, I think. So there'll be a separate video on how I've created the, the quilt all together at the end. I might even show some, uh, some tutorials on how I'm quilting them. I'm probably going to quilt them as individual patches and then, and then sash them all together. It's an excellent idea, by the way, to be putting them inside plastic casing um, so that they don't get ruined by our oh so helpful English weather, or British weather rather. Ooh, oh, look at that. Isn't that lovely? And that's from Jeanette. Thank you, Jeanette. <coughs> Keep that there. Pretty envelope, pretty paper. Dear Babs, my apologies for the block's late arrival. Oh, that's not a problem, Linda. Don't you worry about that. It's all right and that's all that matters. Hope you enjoy it and it goes okay with the others. Well, let's see. Let's have a look and see what happens. Beautiful, beautiful packaging, Linda. Oh, this is so exciting. This is uh, lovely, lovely tissue paper with stars on. Not sure whether you can see that there. Uh, we have a backing sweat. Pop that to one side. Move the rustling tissue out of the way. Ooh. Oh, now it's clashing with this one, so we'll just move, move that for now. And we've got, oh, it's beautiful. Oh, with fleur de lis and cream on cream. That's absolutely gorgeous. Thank you so much. This is um, these are beautiful, absolutely beautiful. There's a lovely rainbow effect through this. This is um, which is an unexpected bonus, seeing as how the only thing that I asked for was that you, you actually include some black. So excellent choices though, ladies. And now on to the largest of all the envelopes for a little nine inch square. Okay, let's see what we've got. Ooh, what have we got in here? Oh, and another note card. Thank you, everyone. This is from Rachel. Uh, let's just, no, we'll do the card first. That's what we're supposed to do with presents. That's what we teach our children. So I should do the card first. Babs, this is your, oh, there's a little bee on it. This is your block for the June instalment of the Hive 2 Quilting Bee. I had such fun and frustration, oh dear, sorry about that, um, making it. Thank you for challenging me to do something different and to stretch my creative muscles. The file folder was just used as packaging. Ah, it's my Brissy bonus. Um, it's, it's still in the bag. Uh, looking forward to seeing a finished quilt. Best wishes, Rachel. Okay then, Rachel, let's have a look at the incredibly frustrating, oh, but so beautiful block. Look at that. Again, we'll move this one out of the way just so we can see it. And this one's got all the rainbows in it. That is stunning. I love this fabric selection. Well, I'm, I'm so impressed. I really don't know what to say. This is so much more than I was hoping for or expecting out of the quilting bee. Um, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven squares, um, eleven patches. I need to create my own one, um, and then I will be sashing them all together. Um, I may well put out some tutorials on how I go about quilting the individual blocks. So now I don't want to destroy them by my appalling quilting methods, but we'll see. Quilts are made from the heart; they're not perfection, as I constantly tell my students. Um, but you know, <laughs> you do what you can do. So we'll see how this turns out. Um, 
and I hope that you've enjoyed it. I'll put pictures up of each individual block along with the, the name of the person who created it um, at the end of the video. And um, hopefully there is something here that you've enjoyed or that has inspired you to, to join your own um, quilting bee. I mean, this is just fabulous. It's been so much fun. I have to say a massive thank you to all the ladies who've actually created these blocks. Your work is amazing. Thank you so much. Um, sorry if I caused you some frustration with my choices, but the point of this is to push ourselves beyond our comfort zone. Um, and I shall be doing the same for each and every one of you going forward for the next for the next 12 months. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope it's been useful and I hope that the, the future Quilting Bee tutorials will, will also be of use to you. Um, have a look around the rest of the, 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 um, the channel. I'll see if there's anything else that, that catches your eye. Um, I release two videos on Tuesdays and Thursdays with extra bonus videos like this one thrown in when something exciting happens. Um, and once again, just thank you ladies for, for sending all your beautiful work and, and for, for bearing with me while I waited until everything had finally arrived to do, to do one big reveal. I'm very excited and hopefully you'll be really pleased at, at how this has, has turned out and be excited for your months in, in, the, coming, um, in the coming year. Uh, so yes, if you like what you see, subscribe, give it a thumbs up, share around, show off your blocks and um, I'll speak to you soon.